Welcome back to an edition of War Chant TV. It's the eve of opening day for the 2018 Florida State baseball team. I'm Aslan Hajavandi. He's Corey Clark, senior writer for WarChant.com. We're out here to Hauser. Just spoke to 11, as well as Tyler Holton. Uh, the season that's coming up here is filled with optimism and, and high expectations, as always, for Florida State. Uh, why can the potential for this team be fulfilled? What do you see out there that, that's uh, the reasons to believe? Can this be the team? Can this be the one that does it? I'm sure that's what everybody right. uh, is thinking say and hoping. It, Corey, and say it. all of it. No, I'm not going to ever okay. say something like that. But uh, the, the starting pitching staff, I think, is number one. You have one of the best pitchers in the United States in Tyler Holton. Um, you have Cole Sands, who by all accounts is looks like a different pitcher this season. And he's been starting here for two years, so that could be a huge addition. And Drew Parrish is a very solid uh, Sunday starter. And you have an offense that you know is going to score runs because Mike Martin Jr.'s offenses always score runs. And there's a lot of talent in the middle of that lineup, too. So there's plenty of reason for optimism. That's why they're number five in the country. They have a lot of returning talent from a team that made it to Omaha last year. The thing that sticks out to me in terms of a potential concern is the fact that at second base and shortstop, you're going to be breaking in new guys. Yeah, Levin even said when we talked to him that, you know, the uh, Bornegal, the, the second baseman, he's like, you know, yeah, he's a grad transfer, but he might have had more people out here for fan day than he'd ever played in front of before. That's an adjustment. My, uh, Henderson, Matt Henderson, two years ago when he came from a, a junior college out in California, that was an adjustment for him, just getting used to playing in front of bigger crowds, and, it, and he hadn't done that. These guys haven't really done that, so we'll see how they respond. There's no reason to think they won't play well, but you never know until you see them on the stage. But they're talented guys, they're experienced guys. The biggest question mark for me, maybe even more so than those two guys, although you gotta feel it, they gotta be better defensively than they've been. Um, the bullpen, you know, you're gonna have a, you're gonna have to rely on a lot of young guys in this weekend against a really good Xavier team. This isn't a pushover, man. What I want to see is the bullpen, the, the young guys in the bullpen. How do they respond their first weekend against a real opponent? Eleven said no closer has been named. He right. thinks it could go all the way up to April first. Friday night start will be Tyler Holton, and as you said, Cole Sands will be the number two guy. Drew goes number three. So great starting pitching for this squad. Uh, and another note here, I, I didn't know. I'm learning these things all the time. I've covered Florida State from afar, but uh, starting pitcher gets to pick out the uniform for the team. They have so many different combinations. Tyler Holton, 11, tells us is a garnet guy, but they don't wear garnet at home. So tune in to see what they look like tomorrow. He's Corey. Do you want to add anything else? I wanted to say one thing yeah, yeah, go ahead. If you're go coming ahead. out to the games, there is going to be a radar gun on the huge Megatron scoreboard that they got now, and it's a really nice scoreboard. They've added banners on the on the big screen. They've done a lot of nice stuff around the, this, uh, the stadium, um, refurbished it a little bit. Uh, but yeah, there's going to be a radar gun, which I've always wanted. I've always just wanted that because they're everywhere else in the ACC. Just put a radar gun on the scoreboard, and there will be one this year. Senior writer and facilities marketer, Corey yes, Clark. I'm Aslan Hajavani. Thanks for watching.